Right, hey. This is Harley from Creative Instigation. Uh, today we're going to go on brushless conversion for Bainbot's P60s. So why brushless? Bainbot's P60s are great. They're an awesome gearbox. You can normally buy them with a 550 or 700 series brush motor. They're great. They work. Um, they're really heavy and you go through brushes. That's about it. These guys, they're lighter. Uh, with the right gearing, you get a lot more torque, you get a lot more power, and they use less electricity. Um, I'm sold. I've only used these once in competition, they haven't failed, and I'm gonna use them again. So, this guy has a five millimeter shaft. You need a five millimeter pinion that matches your Bainbox P60. So first things first, is we need to undo these screws so we can pull the gearbox apart so we pull the motor out. When you pull these apart you can be careful you don't drop all the gears out. Don't lose this, really, really important. Now a lot of these come ungreased from the factory, so make sure you use a high grade lithium grease uh, to prolong life and it won't get destroyed. And there's two screws just in here that are holding this bad boy on. A Loctite of these on, so they might not come out very easily. You want grease all over your fingers? Get a rag or get some gloves. Cool. So this is now apart. Got two tiny little screws. Go back into the carrier plate. And these guys match straight up with the Bainbot's uh, configuration. But when we put it in. It's way too long. That's gonna that's gonna bottom out on this bit here. So now we need to measure how far it is because we've got to cut it. So we need to measure the base here to here where the motor is gonna press down. So we'll put this into there. Get our trusty calipers. This gives us 15.4 mil. That shaft length is 18.8 mil. So what we have to do now is knock this onto the shaft and then cut the excess. So there's many ways you can put this on. The proper way is with a pin press, a pinion press. But I don't have one of those, so I'm just gonna bash it in with a hammer and hope for the best. I'm gonna have to support that end hit it squarely. Okay, so now we're going to be crazy careful putting this in. It's also a leading edge. It's like a, a curved edge and a flat edge. And the curved edge down so it meshes more easily. We make sure the bottom's flat. I'm going to get the biggest hammer in the world. Now, let's check our height. It's 19.9, so we still need to go down to 15.5 to give it a little bit of clearance. Oh, we've knocked it down that far. 
we need to knock it down another four and a half mil. So I've just got a socket, and we'll just eye it up. Seventeen point eight. Sixteen. So we want to go another half mil. Fifteen point three five. So we don't. Probably we don't want to go any more than that. So now that we've got our pendant on, we've got quite a bit of shaft hanging out. So we need to get rid of that. So the best way to do it is to undo these little screws, pull that can off, pull this shaft, take that circle clip off, pull that shaft out. We don't have time for this. This is the this is the five minute brushless conversion. So we're going to masking tape everything up so we don't get any metal filings in there. Chop that bit off. Get rid of any loose edges. Loose edges. Get any get rid of any rough edges. Okay, so we've done our extremely sketchy um, pinion installation. So next, take this guy back off. Now I want my wires to run like this in my robot. So now I need to make sure that my wires are going to run like this. Nope. Like this in my robot. So that will be my orientation. So you should also use Loctite on these. I don't have any. I'll put some on later. I will come back and do this. Just doing this as a demonstration for you guys. These screws have also got a tiny little spring on them. This guy goes back in. We make sure everything meshes. Put these ones back in. Make sure when you put these back in that your mounting holes still line up on the bottom, unless you're doing some weird bottom sideways mounting thing. Otherwise, you'll have to pull it out apart and be very upset. Got it. Has been known to happen. There you have it. So this is the five minute brushless conversion for the Bainbots P60. Now, what you're going to do is get your keyway, put your keyway in, get your wheel, and now we're going to drive. This has been part two of my little mini series following Robotic Drive. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Please subscribe and like. If you've got any questions, drop it in the comments. Thank you.